Hey everybody, Ross here back with another video and the final one in our Sega 60th anniversary celebration series. We've already done a run through of the Sega Dreamcast. I've taken you through the first two books by read only memory. The first one was on the Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive, a full history of what it was bringing that console to market and some of the premier games that really helped define that console in the 16-bit generation. And then we also took you through the second book, which was all about the Sega Dreamcast. Again, similar format to the 16-bit book, and it's all about what made the Sega Dreamcast so special. Now, as promised, at the end of our Sega Dreamcast video, the third and final book is something very, very special, and it is this one right here. Slightly taller than the others, but a little bit thinner in terms of page count, but no less special, believe me. This one is the Sega Arcade pop-up history book, and it's that latter part of the description that is really, really quite special. So we're gonna take a really good look at this, but what is gonna make this video quite special for you as a viewer is if, like me, you spent far too much of your time in arcade venues where we would just put in quarter after quarter or 20 pences, 10 pences, just back to back on games like Daytona USA, like Outrun, like Hang On, like like Virtua Fighter, like uh, Time Crisis, like Virtua Cop, all of these games, these classic Sega and Capcom arcades. Well, this one is specifically geared towards the Sega arcades, the most defining ones. So we're gonna take a look. So let's jump in. So straight away you can see that the production quality of this book is to such a high standard and equal to those of the previous books on the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Dreamcast respectively. On the cover we have this wonderful line drawing of the Hang On arcade cabinet which was a motorbike if all of you remember that. If we spin the book around we've actually got the same pattern on the back as well with a list of some of the most iconic arcade cabinets there, which were of course Space Harrier, Hang On, Outrun, Afterburner, Thunderblade and Power Drift. And that is the list of arcades that is getting the full love and attention within this book. So let's jump in to the inside. So you get a great foreword here about the history of arcade cabinets and what they meant for the industry. And it even highlights some of the great concept sketches that this book really wants to showcase. One of my favorite ones was of course, the classic Outrun. It was such a great arcade cabinet. Um, there was a couple of different versions of this arcade cabinet as well. There was a full rig which you got to sit in as if you're driving the Ferrari F40 of, of its time. But there was also like a stand-up one which had the, the customary steering wheel and the, you know, the acceleration pedals and the, the gear shift. And of course, who could possibly forget afterburner cabinet. So this one, um, this example here, shows you the full um, encased machine that you used to sit in. But if we flick over the pages, you will actually get to see some of the concept versions. And it goes into a lot of history about classics such as Power Drift, such as Thunderblade. But the real impressive part about this book is this next section here. So this is where the pop-up arcade history really comes to its full meaning. If I just turn this page, there you go, look at that. If I'm just gonna hold that up for you. So that is, a, as it says, a pop-up cardboard version, a replica of the arcade cabinet Hang On. I mean, quite incredible, and there are lots for each of these. But that's not the only one, of course. We even have, there we go, Space Harrier. Let's try and pick this up for you. Look at that. Is that not just incredible? <laughs> it's like a full cardboard replica of each of these. We flick the page over again, and there we go. That was This was my favorite one. This is the arcade cabinet mock-up for Outrun. And it's even got the little steering wheel in there as well. What an incredible piece to have. Seriously, I told you this was gonna be the most special one, one to look forward to in the collection of books. Here we have Afterburner. Again, see so that is the full cabinet. 
the full wraparound cabinet had the flight stick in the middle that you used to um, the, the flight stick and the throttle that you used to use obviously to pilot your your I think it was an F14 Tomcat it was supposed to be very Top Gun and finally we have the Thunderblade arcade cabinet which again was a flight game but you're you're an attack helicopter I think this one was <laughs> it's an incredible detail that this pop-up book says oh finally beg your pardon and Power Drift is the last one so again that was like a dirt rally car like a buggy that you used to play in and every single inch of this has been meticulously printed to work as a pop-up book really really truly fantastic so there you go guys that is a quick look at the sega pop-up arcade history from read only memory the third in a series of books that we have been taking a look at as part of our sega 60th anniversary celebration which is this year in 2020 I hope you've enjoyed these couple of videos. If you have, then do feel free to give us a like, a share, maybe even a little subscribe. But also let us know in the comments what you thought. Take care.